welcome to Dead Man Talking. Tonight's story is a very chilling forest encounter with what I would believe to be a dogman creature. Please do let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. As ever, please do like and share. And without further ado, let's get into tonight's story entitled Camping Terror. Let's get straight into that. When I was 11 years old, my family and I went camping in New York. It was my parents and younger brother. We'll call him Caleb. So, the campsite we were at felt pretty desolate. We go camping there every year and it's usually packed, but this time it was practically empty. The second night we were there, we were sitting at the fire and Caleb said that he had to go out to the bathroom. My mum told me to go with him and we both got up and left. After so many years, I had memorised the way to the bathroom. You have to go through the woods for a bit before coming to a path that leads straight there. Even though I had brought a flashlight, it would only illuminate about three foot ahead. So, Caleb and I arrive at the bathroom and Caleb enters the boys' room. I walk into the girls' room and look around. It was the general camp bathroom, just barely cleaner than a porta potty. There are three stalls and a single window above the sink. The only light is coming through the window from the lamp that was outside. I go into the one I go into one of the stalls and do my business. While I'm in there, it suddenly goes dark. I turn on the flashlight and point it at the window. To my surprise, there's something covering the window. You must understand that the window is pretty high up, so much so that I could see it from the stall where I was sitting. I was a little confused as to what could be covering it. After about a minute, whatever was blocking it moved and the light returned. I finished up, washed my hands and exit the bathroom. Caleb is already waiting for me outside. I asked him if he saw anything by the window and he just shrugs and shakes his head. So I shrug myself and we both start heading back to the camp. We're not even off the path when the flashlight starts to flicker. I curse under my breath and start shaking it. Then I hear a rustling sound nearby. Caleb grabs my hand and begins to whimper. I start telling him that everything is fine while shining the dying flashlight in the direction of the sound. Finally, I see something about 20 yards away. It's hard to make out what it was, but then it started to shamble closer. Eventually, I could see it. And I nearly dropped the flashlight in horror. This thing looked like a human dog fusion from Full Metal Alchemist. It was on all fours, and even then was almost six feet tall. Its eyes were glowing, and I could tell that it was staring right at us. At that moment, several things happened at once. The flashlight completely went out. Caleb screamed, and the creature made a noise that I don't even know how to describe. Think of it like a dog moaning, but much, much louder and sounding more human. I grab Caleb and begin running back to camp as fast as I could. When I get to the end of the path, I look behind me and scream. The creature was now chasing us, running on two legs. I start running blindly through the woods, desperately looking for the light of our fire, but I couldn't see anything. Caleb was crying and I could still hear that thing crashing through the woods still making that ear-piercing sound. I screamed for my parents, for anyone, but nobody came. Then, as suddenly as it came, the creature was just gone. I suddenly stopped hearing it, and when I finally collapsed to the ground in exhaustion, it wasn't behind us anymore. By this point, I was hyperventilating, and Caleb was still crying. As I begin to catch my breath, I look around. 
I can barely see anything in the darkness. And the flashlight? Well, that was long gone. Then, I hear another sound. But it was the best sound in the world. Rachel! Caleb! It was my parents. I stand up with Caleb and begin to walk towards them. When we meet, I finally let it out. I began sobbing and trying to explain what happened. I think they thought I was crazy. Either way, my parents bring Caleb and I back to camp and we sleep in the tent. Needless to say, I didn't actually get any sleep that night. The next day, it was clear to my parents that Caleb and I would not be able to cope with the rest of the week. So we left early. Since that trip, I've done research about dogman sightings. I'm not completely sure what we saw that night, but it's been five years since then. Caleb is so afraid of the dark now that he has panic attacks. And I'm embarrassed to admit that I have a fear of dogs. No matter what it was, this creature was very real. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed that short story. Uh, very interesting account. Must have been an absolutely harrowing experience to go through. Please do let me know down below in the comments. Please do like and share. And as ever, folks, remember, be safe, not sorry.